What's up, Team Buckout? Jonathan Buckout here, and in today's video, I'm gonna tell you guys why you are sucking at buttering your snowboard. Because everyone wants to do butters, they're like one of the most fun things you can do on your snowboard, but they're kind of tricky if you don't know what to do or how to do them. That's probably why you suck. So here in this video, I'm gonna tell you why, and then you can fix it, and then you'll be doing sick butter. So here we go. Okay, first things first. Yes, you can get on a snowboard that is gonna help you do butters better. A reverse camber board, meaning like U-shaped snowboard, is gonna be very buttery, easy to lock in tail presses and nose presses. Reverse camber makes doing butters easier. Camber snowboards, which is like a C, like a downward C, makes, and stiff snowboards make doing butters so much harder. So if you're on a camber board, that might be one reason why it's hard for you to get that tail press, but not the only reason, because it's still possible if you are on a camber snowboard to do all these tricks. Just know it's a little harder. The soft of the board, the shape of your board, all matters when it comes to doing butters. The next reason is you don't have an evolution sticker. It's known that if you have the sticker, it helps you with your butter. So go ahead and snag one. They're linked in the description. But that's a joke. The biggest reason, honestly, like the biggest reason, because with butters, a lot of it's pressing. You know, you're, you're putting all your weight into one side of your snowboard. You know that you're pressing the board against the snow, which is creating lift in the other side of your snowboard. Now, I do have a whole video on the eight pressure points of your snowboard or another video on like how to become one with your snowboard, which is super important on top of just talking about doing butter. So those two videos are linked in the description. Make sure you watch those too but once again you're not committing your weight to the butter whatever you're doing well so how do you commit the weight to your butter you need to think that all of your weight comes from your belly button belly button belly button <laughs> the belly button is your center of mass so wherever your belly button is going that's where your main weight is going to be so if i want to do a tail press i need to take my belly button and i need to move it to the end of my snowboard that's going to allow me to get that lift in the front of my board same thing with the nose press i need to commit my belly button way over here that means if i'm going to be doing like a 180 spin 360 style one i'm doing a 180 and then highly committing my weight over that area in which that i want to press the belly button is the trick to butters all of your weight comes from your belly button. So now that we know where to put the weight and why we're not getting really good presses, the next reason why you kind of just suck at doing butters is you're not doing them enough. You need to take advantage of flat spots on the mountain, you know, strap in, jump around, do, do those tail presses after you strap in and see, like, oh, it, where is that? You know, where is the flex point of my snowboard? Every snowboard has a different like snap point. And when you're doing a press, you know, you're really leaning into that like area of where the board likes to be right before it snaps back to its original size. Just especially on a camber snowboard. So slow down, stop just zooming down the run, slow down and do some butters. But make sure when you are doing the butter, especially early season, that you're kind of keeping your head on a swivel and making sure you know who's around you so you're not gonna butter into somebody. You don't wanna be that guy. Or girl, you can be that girl. Oh yeah, and slow down when you're doing butters because you don't want this to happen. Yeah. That sucked. That was like, that sucked. <laughs> One thing to note about butters too is they're not all presses. You could do butters that are like stop jump spins or little jump skirts. Like literally butters are your creativeness coming out of your head with the mountain. Like the naturalness of the mountain, the bumps of the mountain. It doesn't have to be pressing of the board to be considered a butter. So if you're on a stiffer snowboard, you might need to be doing some different creative type butters because you know it's a little hard to get that tail press and the last tip to get better at butters you guys literally just did it is watch videos with education that teach you how all the tricks and tips and nuances of butters and this is a great channel so subscribe to this channel and i do know that i don't know everything with snowboarding so if you have other tricks and tips for butters fill them in the comments let's help other people get sick at buttering so we have more people out here killing the butter game because butters are so fun and so sick but with all that being said timo cast thank you so much for shredding with me today and as always thanks for watching keep evolving we'll see you tomorrow in another video because it is daily on this snowboard channel